YouTube Try Stars Try Stars Trucking Thanks for watching the video up to this point And I hope you guys enjoy it And like I always mention If you think this video would be perfect for someone that you know You could go ahead and share it That will be thankful and grateful Also I need just 3 minutes more out of your time To complete this statement that I'm going to do right now For more videos like this, please subscribe. I did a video mentioning how to go down hill in an automatic truck. I'm gonna also attach that video in the ending of this video. And if you guys not aware of the videos that pop up at the ending of each of my videos, like one to the left, one to the right, and there's a round circular one in the middle with, with, with my face in it, if you punch me in the face, uh, there is a subscribe button that comes up after. You can press on that red icon and you will automatically subscribe if you don't understand it. And also the the ones that come, come up to the side with uh, whatever I mentioned, one is what YouTube will uh, suggest to you guys and the other one will be the one that I suggest. Now, the one that I suggested, you can go ahead and see if you haven't seen it, it as yet is the one automatic truck going down ill okay in that video a commenter leave me a comment basically he was a bit upset i'm not 100 sure but based on his uh comment i think he was upset but i just want to state this before i get into this detail i want to ensure that anyone that leave a comment on my channel and see me do a video or I or address or adjust your comments is not that I'm picking out anyone it's just that your comment come to my attention and it give me a better opportunity to clear up some stuff that maybe I didn't see or it give me the opportunity to, to get one more video to follow up on the video that I already done so don't think because I picked out your comment and do a video on it is because of not agreeing to whatever I did in the video. That being said, uh, this comment of uh, this commenter of me watching back my video like twice just to understand what he was actually talking about. Now the thing is, he he had a problem stating that most of us YouTubers don't get to the point where we talk about the topic and then we stray stray away from the topic and go and talk about something else and doesn't and and do that finish whatever we start off the conversation with which i agree at some point but the thing is he had a problem with me not telling him or not saying or not stating which gear you should put the truck in going down a hill and that's why i take the time out to do it or finish this video and also state something right now so this is it when you go ahead and leave that comment basically you you were he was cussing or cursing or upset that you know i'm talking about blue sky and blue water and all, all type of nonsense and didn't get to the point but what i want to say to you is i can't go ahead and tell you a specific gear that you should go down the hill in because I could have you doing a bunch of stuff that is not necessary at the appointed time. Now, what I want to say to you is the, the gear that you want to go down the hill is the gear that suit the hill. And you as the driver would have to know that. And this is how you can know. First of all, you have to look at the speed limit going down the hill. Second, you have to know the weight that you're taking in the truck. Third, you have to watch your, your RPM needle to sure that yes this is the correct gear all right now this is it you can go in down a hill and it is a very steep hill but you're empty now if you turn your engine brake on and you put it on the third bank and the third bank would be the strongest one and you put it on the third bank that engine brake will be pulling up the truck because it's way too strong and the truck is light so you pull up the truck and you find yourself going very slow than what you'd want to go you know what i mean and um that would be like me telling you okay put your gear put the truck in fifth gear so you're going down in fifth gear and you keep pulling up pulling up fifth gear so you actually crawling down the hill and the hill and maybe the hill is let's say what the hell okay let's say 
the the hill is 60 mile per hour going down and you're empty and i go ahead and tell you you know what put your truck in fifth gear that would be too slow for the hill and too slow for you because you're too light now if you're heavy and you're going down a hill and the hill said uh 20 or 10 based on the steepness fifth gear could work you know what i mean and that would be okay you know what i mean let's say you're going down and it's snowing right and you want to ensure that you don't you keep your distance and you want to ensure that you're you're, you're in a safe mood going down the hill as slow as possible is okay based on those terms you can you know select a gear that you want just to be safe but in a, in other terms i can't go ahead and say put your truck in ninth, ninth gear to go down the hill no it's a rule of thumb is always the gear below the one that you're already in right and if to your uh, visibility and to your control and you think you need an, you need to take out one more you can go ahead and do it and what I meant by that is driving the automatic truck in a freight liner the, the stick to, to gear down will be right where the indicator is or above the indicator somewhere over no not the indicator sorry where the wiper the, the wiper um, switch is you'll be either above the wiper switch or below the wiper switch and is that the fat tick looking one for the automatic we are, we are talking about right now right and i don't remember if you carry, carry the stick back to you to gear down and forward to gear up or it's down to gear down and up to gear up i'm not 100 percent sure someone please leave it in the description but if you're driving the, the, the automatic truck in with the freight liner you can just not when you're going down the hill you're on third bank based on your weight and everything you can put it on a low on a lower third lower bank like two bank or one bank just to, just to base on how the engine brake is holding back the truck you know what i mean because sometimes you just want to cruise go down with that engine brake like down and you want to do like a one bank and that will take you smoothly then a third bank would pulling you up and you have to go on the, the, the gas pedal just to release because as soon as you go on the gas pedal it's gonna the engine brake is gonna stop and the truck is gonna run you know what I mean? So basically, you is telling the truck exactly what to do. Now, that being said, uh, the, the Volvo truck, uh, some of them have the gear buttons on the dash. For me, I have it right next to me on, on the side of the seat. And I only use the one at the bottom, the, the gear down button. I never change up. Never, ever. I let the truck change by itself because the truck is very perfect as changing out the gear. But when it comes to slowing down or stopping the truck, you want to... Tell the truck that listen, I need more engine brake, or listen, I need to stop right now. You can do it by a foot brake, but like I explained to you guys, the foot brake is not always the the right, the the perfect or the safe safest choice to do because if you continue using it, you may run that brake hot and then you can't stop again, and then you you in a situation that you you will not be happy in basically. Back to the point. I don't know if I stray away, but back to the point. I just want to say, I hope the video that I just did correct some of the statement that was made because it was pretty upset about what gear I should go in. And right away, I could tell, and other viewers could tell, that maybe you're just starting out, or you're, or you're not even a truck driver as yet. Because to be upset and to ask in that type of question, we know you're learning. And the thing is this, I'm here to teach you what I know, and I'm here to actually take take some teaching from whatever you know because even though you're younger just coming out here you have things that i have room to learn and i will listen you know what i mean but what i'm trying to say is some of the time you have to take the time out to listen to what the the next person is saying to you and sometimes getting to the point is not always just getting to the point without an explanation because this is it just take for example the dream that you have the dream that you have, like your dream, like when you're younger, your dream, like you get up in the morning, you dream that you have a big house, you dream that you have a big car, you dream that you're rich, right? And your dream is so nice. But what the dream did it tell you and what you did as a younger person, what you didn't know about the dream is the dream does give you the finishing. The dream never tell you how to get there. So the point that I'm making is when someone is explaining 
something about a video before he actually show you the video is he's, he's trying to get you to understand how to do this how to get here how to complete this this is not just a dream i'm just gonna get to the point start the video and be like oh this is how you stop coming down the hill boom stop the truck and you're like okay that's it with no explanation what you're gonna do you're gonna go out there and just boom stop the truck anything can happen but the explanation will tell you why you should stop the truck at disappointed time. Why you should apply the brake such time. Why, oh, the weight, the height, the speed, the, the terrain, everything, the explanation will tell you. So that's the reason why sometimes when I'm doing a video, I just don't just get to the point like that. I can. It's so easy, but uh, three things you can take from this understanding that I'm trying to put out to you. One, there are people out there with more knowledge than me and you that would just want get that would just want you to get to the point right and as soon as they get to the point they will understand because the knowledge that they have already plus your point will complete it now you have, you have other people out there will just want the point plus just a bit more and the point to get through with whatever i was you know telling and you have a, that other set of people that never touch a truck steering before, never go inside a truck, but have the knowledge and want to be a truck driver or want to be a driver, so to speak, and never have the opportunity. They would want that explanation from the start to the finish to know exactly, okay, and to sit down and relax and be like, okay, this is how you should apply it. So everyone, there is a space for every explanation so what i'm actually saying to you is if i come on here and i'm doing a video for everyone if i start doing it from the basic everyone will get something from it if i start this video and jump straight to the point only the one that is already advanced would learn but the one that never get be in the situation will never understand what's going on so so much point i'm making for this one video but i just want to say this just to cover up Sometimes you have to, even if you know it already, sit back, pay attention, observe, and as soon as it finished, your point will come. Your point will come. And if you don't agree, leave a comment and say you don't agree. But just keep this in mind. The dream that you have when you were younger always give you the finishing. But what a lot of people without the knowledge don't know is the dream only give you the finishing. The house, the car, the money, the girls, whatever you dream about that you like. There is a process to get there. And that process to get there, the dream never tell you. Just keep that in mind. So in other words, thanks for watching. No, in other words, it's like, I'm just trying to say, sometimes the explanation really works. It's not just get to the point. You know what I mean? Getting to the point is the key, but not just get to the point. Ask a girl. Sometimes they want you to caress, you know, rub that breast down, you know, kiss on the neck, talk slowly, talk soft, and then you do your thing. Not just get to the point. They will be upset. They will be, and they will, I mean, give it away. But anyway, that, that's 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 enough, man. This is Troy Star Struck in. Thanks for tuning in. I just want to make this point out just to cover some stuff, and I hope everyone understand what i was trying to explain if you don't leave me a comment please and thank you and like i said before if someone out there that you know that that is young and that is just coming out in the trucking world and you want them to understand this video please send it out please share it and give me a thumbs up troy stars trucking peace and thank you for more videos like this please subscribe